Good evening, I'm Harry Keeling, and on behalf of the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation and Alaska Public Media, welcome to Hangar Flying. Our guest this evening is Dr. Marcel Dion. Marcel is the regional flight surgeon, the FAA regional flight surgeon. He's a man with a lot of experience, and we're very fortunate to have him in, in the region. He's a former Air Force officer, a flight surgeon, and he's flown such uh, equipment as the KC-135, the F-15E and D, and C-130, C-12, you name it. He also had a tour at the Air Force Academy, but once he came up to Alaska and was flying with the squadrons here, he knew this is where he wanted to be. So he had to go outside for a couple of years, but he came back here to retire. Marcel, welcome to Hangar Flying. Thank you, sir. And thank you for your service. Thank you. So you've been in your current job seven months, did I get that right? I uh, joined the FAA in January, so going on eight months. So what are your first impressions? Um, it's a great job. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's the perfect job. Uh, marriage of aerospace medicine, flying, and uh, working with the uh, aviation community. And working, I might add, with some really great folks. I uh, got a lot of good friends in the FA, and they do a, a great job year in and year out. Absolutely. Any so since uh, not not quite a year, but uh, um, what are your initial observations? Are there any areas that you would like to concentrate on? Well, there's uh, there's a couple goals that I have, and uh, I'll mention a concern. Uh, one is, you know. One of the things I want to focus on is reaching out to the aviation community, providing some education, especially the air, air medical or the aerospace medicine piece to that, and also at the same time help promote aviation safety. Uh, one of the concerns um, coming up to Alaska is the uh, you know the general aviation accidents uh, you know that we hear about. Um, I've not seen any published data on what trends are, if there's any human factor type trends. So that's one of the areas I'm concerned about and uh, want to investigate a little bit. Talk a little bit. I didn't, I didn't go into detail, but I'd like you to talk a little bit about some of your, your medical um, training, which I think it sounded to me uh, uh, suited you ideally for, for the task ahead. Um, originally from a general practice family medicine background um, and from private practice uh, with an interest in aviation I joined the Air Force to do flight medicine. Uh, once in the Air Force um, decided it was a great field to further develop so I uh, uh, applied and uh, completed a residency in aerospace medicine while in the Air Force. When we were talking, I thought it was pretty cool. You, you really were what, what I would call a country, country doc in, in, in Maine at one point, weren't you? You did everything from babies to old people. I did cradle to grave. <laughs> and uh, yes, um, I had gone back uh, from my residency in family medicine to a rural area of Maine, actually the area I grew up in, uh, to do general practice. And I was working out of two different offices uh, with that shared uh, you know, a hospital. Uh, two different towns, and uh, took care of geriatrics, adult medicine, peds, and delivered babies. And well, I got to tell you a story. I don't usually do this, but my son is a pediatrician. So at one point in time, I said, "Hey, son, what do you think about this condition?" He said, "Dad, you need to see a geriatric specialist." This is the boy I raised, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, it's really good to have you up here and. Your mom and dad were pilots, weren't they? They were. They flew in air coop, um, and uh, you know, lifelong interest in flying. Um, decided uh, coming out of high school that I'd go to college, and and uh, uh, looking either at aviation or medicine. Medicine turned out to be the field I I went in, but I was able to join both fields uh, once I was in private practice and took flying lessons, and. Uh, the rest is history, join the Air Force. Well, you know, it's, um, this is the perfect state because Alaska is a flying state. And having you up here with your, your zeal and your interest and your background, uh, the uh, flying community really, really can benefit from that. So 
Welcome, and uh, I'd like to get you back on the program, um, talk about a couple things. Uh, maybe next time we can talk about some of the areas that concern you the most, um, that medical-related uh, aviation problems or challenges, and and also, I, um, and so if we could maybe concentrate on that next time, get you back. Be happy to. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed tonight's program. Uh, Dr. Dion is, uh, is, is a really great guy to have on the FAA staff up here, and, and uh, the short time I've gotten to know him, uh, he, he's a true professional, and, and I, I think we're, we're going to really value his friendship for the next couple years. And finally, I'd like to have you to keep in mind that uh, the Alaska Aviation Safety Foundation is member-funded, and your membership is what keeps this program alive. It also helps to sponsor two safety seminars a year, our scholarships, our newsletters. So it uh, won't be long. We'll start uh, going out and looking for 2015 memberships, but we appreciate your support. Until next time, fly safe.